Book Talk. I'm Sonia at the Stickney Forest View Public Library and we're going to talk about books like we do every month. This month's theme is, you'll be surprised if you know me, uh, sci-fi classics because I'm not big on sci-fi. That's not my go-to genre. That's not my genre of choice, but um, I've read these books in the last few years and I thought it'd make a good book talk. So I am going to start with the um, oldest and go to the most contemporary. So starting with the oldest one, Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. So this is like imagines a future where books are not allowed. People aren't allowed to read because you know that could be dangerous if they get these ideas. They just have to, you know, they can look at their screen. They're actually, I remember I saw the movie of this and the wife is just always glued to the big screen in her living room. Um, but I also read this, I didn't just watch it. I read this in 2010 for library school. When I was in library school, it was assigned. And um, this book is basically about the ideas of, you know, censorship and um, retaining knowledge and that we have to um, seek out knowledge and preserve knowledge, um, you know, and not just go along with what we're being told um, and not just be glued to our screens. And I think about this sometimes because especially nowadays, everyone is glued to their screen. Um, a lot of times it's the small phone screen, but it's just like you're always glued to it and you you believe what you read on it and you don't question it, but you should. Um, so the, the fireman guy whose his job is to burn books, he starts questioning if this is really a good thing or not. So all of these books are about ideas, actually. Ideas that have you question, you know, humanity and society. So the next one I'm going to do is Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? by Philip K. Dick. And this one I just read really recently, so this was on my mind. Um, kind of the same, a similar situation where, uh, in this case, it's a bounty hunter, bounty hunter, and he is questioning, um, you know, if he, if that is like, what's the point of that, if that's actually a good thing. He, in this case, he has to terminate these robots who are very human-like. They're very advanced. They're the androids. Uh, they look human. They're actually made of organic material and they only last a few years. And um, so so there's these ideas, right? So it's, it's a great book to discuss. Um, uh, this is the, if you've heard of the movie Blade Runner, this was the, the inspiration for that movie. Maybe you know that already. So you can go back and read this and see how it's different. There's, there's actually an electric sheep in here, which I guess in the movie there's not. I don't know. Um, I'm actually not that familiar with the movie. But yeah, lots of ideas, lots of um, good discussion topics. I don't want to say too much about this, but um, it's a future. The androids, some of them are killing humans, so there's... The bounty hunter has to go and kill them. Okay, so the last one I'm going to talk about is Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. This came out in 1969, and this was 68, if I didn't say. So 1969, and this, I think, what he's saying here is that war is absurd and bad is basically, I think, the idea that I got from this book. Um, but it's actually a, like a, it's a good story too. Um, the, the Billy, the guy Billy, who, um, he, he was a soldier, um, turns out he either is delusional or he actually is being um, abducted by aliens at one point and then he's able to see his future um, it sounds kind of convoluted but I I actually enjoyed it and it wasn't too confusing to me if you just go along with it um, 
you know, he, he can see his future, he can see things that are happening to him, and there's, he talks to these aliens, and I think, you know, there's metaphorical stuff going on. So, I don't want to say too much about it, because you should just read it. So, um, Slaughterhouse-Five, famous classic, sci-fi classics here. Um, here's the audiobook, which I didn't listen to, like I said, I just read it, but we have the audiobook. Um, and check our other ebooks and audiobooks through our Libby app. Pick up a sci fi classic. You know, you never know. You never know. I surprised myself with my topic today. Um, but join me next time. Please leave comments below. I know there's sci fi classics that I haven't read. Um, please give me suggestions um, or tell me what you thought of these. And uh, have a good uh, September. This is Banned Books Week. So look up banned books. You can read all about them. All right, I'm going on and on, but join me next time, and I'll see you then. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to the Stickney Force View Public Library's YouTube channel. Also, like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The Stickney Forest View Public Library District, where great things happen.